I have one gigabit of internet line and in the rooms I can only use about five to six percent of it so it's really wasteful why am I paying for one gig but only getting about half of it and in the rooms it's only about five to six percent so it doesn't make sense isn't it let's talk about this this is the Deco XE 75 why I get a Wi-Fi 6e and not a Wi-Fi 6 so that's the question I think uh, I do not want to get into very technical here um, you can actually read them from manuals and so on and Wi-Fi 6e is basically an enhanced version just take this e as an enhanced yeah and it comes with a tri-band so instead of just two band yeah it comes with uh, another band yeah this is which is like you know another road for you to uh, you know communicate with each other and that road can be actually used as a backhaul a backhaul um, basically you can see it as a dedicated backhaul means you can actually create one road just for these two to communicate to each other so say for example this one you just put it next to the modem link it use it as a router then this will be a mesh node which can directly you know uh, link using either an ethernet line which is your network cable or you can wirelessly using that bandwidth that band yeah the tri band which is a six megahertz band to link it wirelessly so of course it's advisable for you to put it uh, you know in the line of sight meaning uh, there's no interruption uh, there's no obstacles in between there's no walls or doors in between if possible then you will get a very good connection between these two um, that's how i understand after reading through all the manuals uh, you know seeing all the youtube um, you know reviews about this so that's why wi-fi 6e is important um, of course, you also can use the Wi-Fi 6E if you don't have those Wi-Fi 6E, you know, um, what do you call this, the devices, the handphones, the, the laptops, but in the market right now, there isn't many. Yeah, there's only a few Samsung models which can, which have Wi-Fi 6E and well, most of the Apple products that we're using right now, you know, iPhones, uh, iPads, I don't think they have this technology yet. Um, so... So later on, I'm future-proof, yeah? If they came out with iPhone 15, for example, that supports Wi-Fi 6E, yeah, then I can actually make use of it, yep. So let's unbox this. All right, the box is nice. So the box itself comes with some sort of padding here. Um, this is soft, not styrofoam, but it's sort of rubbery. So that's good. And this is of course the Deco 6E. Yep, it's identical. Both looks the same. And that's the bottom of it. There's some ones where you can, you know, dissipate the heat. On top, it's, let me just open this. Okay. And this. Okay. There's a sticker here as well to protect the ports. So these are all gigabit ports. There's three of them. And this is of course the power input. According to the manual, you can actually put your the WAN line that comes from the modem into any of this. It will automatically detect and use it, you know, uh, as the input. So you have two more here. And you can actually use this too to, you know, use it as a backhaul. So if you use a cable directly from here, connect to this, then you will have an Ethernet backhaul, yeah, which is cable to cable. The speed getting from here will be pretty good, yeah, because it's all wired, yeah. So what about 6E? What about the, the wireless backhaul, which is using the 6 gigahertz band? So we're gonna try it out. So look at this box. Lots of words, lots of information. Maybe I just, you know, give it a try, you know, to tell you uh, why do I choose this? Uh, my place is about 2,000 square feet here. Yeah? So this is five five. So it's more than enough. Uh, but 
after I have read through some of the reviews and so on, it's uh, it's much better if you can just you know use it up to three thousand or four thousand square feet. It, it wouldn't go up to five thousand five. It's normal, yeah. It's a Wi-Fi zone, dead zone killer. Try band Wi-Fi and yeah, you can read all those yourself. So okay. So it's a huge leap forward for Wi-Fi means it's the latest. So I'm future proof. So this is the router, uh, a Wi-Fi 6 router given by the ISP internet service provider, which is Time. And they gave me a mesh node as well, but it doesn't seem to work very well. Um, so this one um, is a normal Wi-Fi router and it's not really a mesh system and the coverage of it is not excellent. So what happens is that I have quite a big living room and it's sort of, you know, only cover that part. So for the other rooms that I have, you know, it's a bit difficult to pass through. Um, across one wall is fine. Yeah, there's a wall behind here. Behind this, there's a room. That is fine, it's still usable. But behind this room again, there's another room that's not usable. And yeah, and further back, there is, you know, about 40, 50 feet away, there's another room which is not covered as well. So this is what I use. Yeah, it's actually a power line by TP-Link as well. And this is not a Wi-Fi 6 uh, power line extender. It only uh, up to Wi-Fi 5, not mistaken. And it says 1300 megabits per second. But what I'm getting in the room is actually about 50 to 60 megabits per second only. Because, you know, power line is still not stable. And what comes uh, can be interrupted, you know, depending on your electrical systems. So before I set up, I have to download the Deco app. And after that, turn off the modem, plug in the modem and the deco, and it's done. Easy, right? Let me just try it out and see if it's really that easy. So let's set this up. What I'm going to do is, you know, disconnect this, all this, especially the WAN part. This one is connected. So this is the one connected to the modem so i'm just going to plug in to one here leave it here for now now i just need to plug this in mine is a three pin because i'm in malaysia and uk is using this as well so making sure that the power goes in so here you go plug in now it's all set up and let's try and check out the speed test and press go. I'm just right next to the router and I get about, well, it's going up to 800, does it? It doesn't, but it's still close to it. Yeah, I'm getting close to 800, which is yeah, actually pretty good. This unit here is not set up yet, not automatically apparently, and it's actually away about 40 feet away. So it says that it would set up automatically once I plug it in, but it seems like it's not. Let me check out how to do this. So now it's connected. I got to use the TP-Link app to find this and connect to it. So it's done. Um, anyhow, I'm going to off this first to see about 40 feet away how much of internet speed I'm getting. So all right, I'm 40 feet away and I'm still getting full bar here. So let's check out the connection. Wow, okay. Normally, before this, I can only get about 200 plus to 300. So apparently I'm getting 500 over Mac now. So just plug in and it's still yellow. I gotta wait until it's green to make sure that it's connected. Right, 
I've tried to set this up, but it fails hmm, because I think it's a bit too far from the main unit. It asked me to move closer to do the setup again. So let's try that out. Now I'm in the bedroom about two walls away, about 30 feet away. So let's try it out. Two walls away, I think that's going to be a bit difficult to, yeah. So as you can see, I can get full bar of Wi-Fi, but internet is merely just 5%. No, this is the universe. This is just 5 megabits. This is requiring 5% of what I'm supposed to get. I still have to put a power line at the corner of the house. It's still not good enough to penetrate two walls. So there you go. On the other side and right here is fine. Yeah, that's because the door is here and the Wi-Fi is able to penetrate through the door. And this portion, this side of the bed is fine. So my side is slightly slower. So that's why I use the power line. And I've actually put this very high up now. Um, it's about six feet high so that it can communicate to the other mesh node, which is about 40 feet away. Right, to summarize, um, these two nodes basically is not enough for my house, yeah, because 2,000 square feet isn't small and it's elongated. Yeah, my house is very long. Okay, so this is how my house layout is. Um, this is not the best drawing I have, but um, I think you should be able to understand. This is the main router. And because this is right straight line of sight, I put it the other side of here. And this room is able to get about 500, 400 plus to 500 of megabits per second. If I'm over here, right in front of the router, I can get about seven to 800 plus. And in this room, which is covered by wall, um, get about three, 400 as well. And over here, this part, because this is a door, this half of the room gets about 200 plus, because it's somehow further away from the main router and there's a door here. So, and this part remains a blind spot. Yeah, I won't be able to use any of the internet. So I still need to put in the power line here at this corner to get some Wi-Fi here. But it's still an improvement because before this, before I use this router, I get about 50 Mac, yeah, at the, in this room. So after changing to the uh, deco, I can get about 100 Mac, still an upgrade, and, and yet I still don't need to buy an extra, um, you know, a mesh node just to get uh, some Wi Fi here. Yeah, mainly I'll be sleeping there. So, there you go. Um, basically, I would say uh, this is a very good product. Um, whether it's user friendly or not, yes and no. Yeah, it's easy to set up the main router that after that, the second one takes a little longer because it needs to detect maybe the distance of mine is slightly further from each other. So it took, it took about two minutes. Yeah, after it restarted, somehow it couldn't find it. But yeah, it still solved the problem. So for those who have a big house, you know, 5,500 square feet, I think it's not really saying that you can get everything, yeah, dead spots in all your house. If your house is so big, 5,500 square feet, maybe two or three stories high, then it can, yeah. Um, but mine is very long, yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't actually cover all the space. Uh, perhaps I need three, but I make do with the power line that I have, I used to have. So I don't think I would be buying another mesh note anytime soon. Um, 
that's it thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this will help you to decide to get this or not bye